Hold on, hold on. Yeah. You can see through there? Yeah. There's a run right here. All you have to do is see. Come on, up here. <laughs> What's up guys? My name's Jake. Welcome back to Chasing Green. We made it into where we were yesterday. We smashed them yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. We're with one of our buddies we met on Instagram this morning. Uh, there's ducks everywhere. They're pouring in in front of us, pouring in behind us. We're just trying to get set up. We're running a little behind. Uh, but they're flying everywhere. We're about to try to get them. <laughs> it ain't easy. Sucking like we do. <laughs> they ought to be slaying them this morning, boy. There we go, baby. I'm digging it. <laughs> we finally got about halfway set up. We set up in stages, typical chasing green fashion. We got out the decoys, then we got out the jerk string, all in steps. We're finally set up. There's ducks everywhere. This is epic. I'm glad we got up. I'm glad we did the work. I think we got three. I got two, I got two more to go, and then Glenn's gonna shoot, Lord willing, and we're gonna keep firing them up if they keep pouring in here. Um, this is what it's all about though, guys. Hang with us, smash that like button if, uh, if you like greenheads on public ground, we're giving you all we got. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. they're, they're, they're definitely shy of this, kid. Yeah, I can't get it out. Well, you molly walked that thing. Right. 
Yeah, we were in a boomerang. We killed him at the spot hall. <laughs> Only butt rush out of here. We're living up to our name today. Chasing green. That's what we're doing. We're chasing them. We're about to try and get up on them. They were going about 200 over here. So we're going to ease over here and hopefully get set up on them. Something about a mallard hen lighting up and a turkey goblin that lights a fire. Piling in the food plot. Piling in the food plot. I told you. Wait till this. Look at him. Gosh, dog. That's crazy. Huh? We are not having it. Not today. We'll do that in just a second.
Well, as you saw, we ran the the raft out of the food plot. So I think we're finna ease back over here in the timber and get set up. Hopefully we can pull them in there. Uh, Brother Jake managed to get him two of them out of this group. I just picked one up. And He's bringing the other one now. Well, we left this food plot that we've been hunting, killed three out of it. We got about 100 yards and oh, several hundred to a thousand just landed right, right where we were sitting. So, pintails, mallards. I got my two or my four all together. I'm done. Austin's got one. Glenn's got to shoot his limit. We're hoping to get uh, seven, seven more, seven more. Uh, we, we normally we would let these ducks raft up and do them right, but this is our last day up here. They were where we were just sitting. Uh, we came to kill today, but uh, hopefully they keep flying around. They've been thick, and we're gonna try to get these two boys their limits. Yeah, yeah, missed all that. The clouds are starting to roll in. It's at least gonna be partly cloudy. I think we're gonna pick up and go back to the food plot where I just shot my last two um, and just live and die there. That's where the ducks wanted and hopefully they want there again. Well, you want to talk about musical chairs. We were playing musical duck holes all morning long. Some days are just your days, some days are not, and this day was not our day. We got in there a little late, ducks just started coming from everywhere. They were falling in that opening, they were falling in the timber, so we just got in the opening because the ducks were just going down in it right off the bat. And we killed some ducks early. We killed like three or four right off the bat, and then it, it got more sunny and the sun popped out more and more and they started going in the trees behind us. Ducks just started rafting up 200 yards from us, you know, so we eased our way towards them and about, about the time we got the decoy set up and started calling, a duck tornado starts where we just were, just right where we were just standing. I mean, several hundred ducks went in there, mallards, pintails, it was, it was just one of those, one of the, you know, just one of those things, but it kind of brought up into my mind, you know, during the hunt and after, leaving them or not we have left ducks rafted like that and tried to hunt the edges but there's a fine line in that if you're too close the ducks are just going to suck down on the live ducks you stand no chance if you're too far you're out of the game you got to be in the right place and it's got to be the right day and these ducks were pretty concentrated once they start going in that opening they really were not using the timber anymore anywhere else so if the day before if you want to check that out me and glenn both killed our limit it was an awesome hunt ducks did the same thing they started piling up in this opening and we went over there and uh got on the x and ran them up and they started coming back immediately and we we smashed them once we got done shooting them out of there they went kind of where we went on this day's hunt and that's why we were over there also six guys showed up and beat us to the hole we were at before so even if we hadn't have went over there and ran those ducks up and hunt them they were going to get messed with the next day anyway and we would have just lost out so sometimes it's good to run them up and just get on the x in the timber now in a field or in you know a specific duck hole some kind of marsh or something you need to be on an x but in the timber sometimes they tend to work in area and so there's not really just a, a concentrated x you just need to be near the area and you can leave the main congregation of ducks 
and kind of hunt the edges and they'll stay in there longer until people start coming in. You best believe on our public lands there's going to be some people coming after them. <clears throat> but sometimes it's best just to run up in the middle of them, get on the X and, and do work. And that's what we did the first day. And that's what we try to do this day. By the time we ran them up though, it was like 9, 30, 9. It was late in the morning and the ducks kind of quit flying. I don't know if it was because it was I don't know if it was because it was cloudy or what, but they really didn't fly late on this day. But we just I just kind of wanted to give you all a heads up as to what was going on, what our thought processes were behind it. I mean, we make mistakes too out there. We're not perfect. Um, when you find them, you need to get on on the best way you can. Sometimes, sometimes all the decisions you make are the right ones. You can't do anything wrong. And then some days you have days like this one that, you're, that you just watched. And everything you do is wrong no matter what you do you can't quite get it right and you never can really get them like you you need to get them or want to get them so hope y'all learned something from this hope y'all are digging our content we love you we thank you for watching man we have fun doing it and i hope y'all have fun watching us hey i hope all y'all seasons are going well those of you who still have a season open keep grinding don't give up yet uh those late january mallards is what it's all about so like we always say, we love each and every single one of you. Thank you for watching, and Lord willing, we'll catch you next time right here on Chasing Green.